It's a historical dramatic film. Filmed almost entirely in Japan, partly in Japanese, Minamata tells the story of the great mercury pollution scandal in Japan in the 1970s that resulted in the poisoning of thousands of people, including their children. Mercury has a direct neurodegenerative effect and can poison even the fetus before birth. A veteran photographer, in the decline of his career and now an alcoholic and broke, is finally persuaded to take photos and give this story to the rest of the world. However, the longer he lives with these people, the more he opposes the local industry that pollutes the environment. A true story with thousands of victims even today, one of the many sad stories of poisoning people and the environment, which becomes a movie like the relatively recent Dark Waters, 2019, and Deepwater Horizon, 2016, excellent selection of Johnny Depp as producer and actor, one of his best films and one of the bright examples of showing such true events to be known to the broad audience. Recommended to everyone to learn the truth about these dark chapters of history, a solid and important film, especially these days with very recent topics. It's a story that deserved to be told at the cinema as it is groundbreaking, shocking and absolutely relevant. It also brings back Johnny Depp to his actually acting standards, Depp is wonderful, and not only because he successfully deglammed for the role, but also because he found his acting weapons back. He truly gives a great performance in a film that sometimes suffers from its lengths. Because although the story is absolutely important to tell, director Andrew Levitas didn't really do where to go with it. He knew he wanted to tell it, he knew what he wanted to tell, but he didn't know how to put this in a two hours movie as there are some major lengths, especially in the midsection of the film and you sometimes had the impression this would have worked better as a short film. To see Depp back to business it is worth to see and also to encounter newcomer Minami in the female lead is really something. She did great and shared a great chemistry with Johnny Depp. Bill Nye also has his moments but can do better, his role was a bit underdeveloped. If you like my review please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates and movies review. Thanks you, the song is amazing and there are many moments that are worth to mention, however as a whole it felt sometimes a bit too slow and without a definite direction. King Johnny Depp has returned. This story alone is one that needed touching on to raise awareness as I'll be honest I was not aware of these issues until I saw this movie. It astonishes me how virtual it really was for Japan, these events are no joke, so tragic. The story being true made it all the more compelling in this movie, Depp steps deep into the character and does he do a good job, I'll be honest I have not seen such a great movie like this in a long time, I really enjoyed my time watching this movie, I felt so engaged and entertained all at the same time, it is a very intriguing title that does not feel boring at any moment and what a watch it was. I would definitely recommend this to all my friends, family and even you guys, watch this movie, big props to the producer, director and entire crew for capturing this beautiful movie of such horrific events. A must watch, thanks for watching take care.